know Chernobyl, it's empty now. You know that, right? Because they had the reaction. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so they had a bad reaction. Had a bad reaction to radiation. <laughs> so it's totally deserted, right? But then all the wolves and the bears came. So you've got like three-eyed wolves and like five-legged bears that are in Chernobyl now. So we're gonna go and we're gonna hunt them. But is this serious? Yeah, it's serious. It's the 20th anniversary of the meltdown of the Chernobyl reactor, which was the biggest nuclear catastrophe in human history, besides Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Even now, there's an area the size of Great Britain that's still radioactive. In Italy, or all over the place, in Eastern Europe too, they come up to you like with little Wagons of panini and beer. Yeah. Beer, beer, panini, beer, beer, panini, beer. You know, they yell out and you go, oh, beer, panini, e fanta. Oh, grazie. But here they don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Chernobyl. Neutron, Neutron. We're uh, in Chernobyl, um, which was apparently 600 times worse than Hiroshima. The only guys that survived uh, here were the firemen, because they were bombed when they were putting out the fires. It's the same as the doctors in Hiroshima. They live because they got drunk. So we've been drinking, haven't we, Pella? Yes. There's a lot of people like living here. Hey, there's a whole city here. Look, that's not good. Uh, some people walk here, some people live here. But isn't it dangerous Actually, to live here? Actually, seeing this territory was evacuated in 1986 after the accident. But uh, in the period of time from 1986 till 1988, more than 1,500 people came back here. After explosion 1986, April 26, on the reactor unit number four, it was made decision to evacuate. April 27, the date of the evacuation of the Pripyat town, and later in a week it was evacuated neighborhood villages. And after it, it was established Chernobyl exclusion zone. Overage level of radiation in Chernobyl nowadays is 35 micro uh, rankings per hour. And the natural background we consider from 12 to 20. So it's double. It's double, yes. Now what's going on here now? They hunted some animals just to investigate what's going on, what processes are going on, what kind of mutation or changes are possible in it. Were there a lot of mutant animals? It was very clear that some species are very contaminated. Apparently, I have radiophobia. Radiophobia is when you come to Chernobyl, people think that they get a sore throat or their eyes water or they have diarrhea. Uh, and it's not because the actual radiation is infecting you with cancer, but it's because you're just, you think you're afraid. It's all psychosomatic. This is, this is gonna help us live. So that used to be a whole village and they buried the village. Right, right, right. The big elements of the houses were buried there. Oh, yeah. On the left side on the hill. We're at 400. We're at 400? Yeah. No. This is the reactor that blew up. So that's that's all concrete, right? No, no. It's all uh, the lead. Uh, northern wall, for example, is concrete. And uh, as for the western wall, uh, it's uh, <laughs> mainly metal. And the roof also metal. What happened? Why did it blow up? What, 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 what went on? First of all, it was the construction of reactor. It was the Russians, those bastards. It was Soviet. Soviet bastards. Russia, Ukraine, they, Soviet they, they, they blew us up. This is the radioactive town of Pripyat. And apparently there's wolves and bears live in these buildings now. And they're, they're not mutated, they're changed. There's no mutations, they're changes. Thank you. 
no defense. This procedure will never be used. So if there was a, a, a meltdown or a war, you'd just sort of put a mask on and... Yeah, and they escape to the shelter. So escape to the shelter. Are there shelters here? Uh, shelter, well, it's uh, any kind of the basement. As you can see, uh, they're not so different from us. So they like to play some basketball, some volleyball, maybe a bit of track. This is in high school. How to kill a tank, how to attack, you know, how to throw a grenade. Oh, that's amazing. How to spot what different kind of plane, F-111, B-52, F-14. Nuclear energy is the future, then. I think yes. If this is the future, then we're fucked. This amusement park was planned to open on the 1st of May of 1986, so it was never open. This is what happens when we play with technology we don't understand. Now here we're measuring its uh, show over each 100, 150. Why so much? 175, 181. too much, look. 200. Wow. On the soil, under the snow there's the moose. Why, why here so much? It's a, it's a moss there under the snow. Really? The moss, it's absorbing all this, uh, red, all this dust and that's why... It it's a fucking 600, dude. More than 600. Without snow, it's uh, one and a half. Oh, really? Did you see that fucking thing there, dude? The thing went up to like 800. 800 is bad. 800 is very bad. 1283, 1273, 1284, 1284, 1294, 1300, 1300, 1297, 1300, 1300, we got our guide, we bribed our guide to get some machine guns. And we're gonna hunt the radioactive wild boars. And now what we have to do is be very quiet. We're in a deserted building and we have to wait a little bit. And when we see the wild boars, there's hundreds of them with big fucking toothed fangy things. And when we see them, we're gonna shoot them with machine guns. So after we shot at the boars, they ran into the forest, and me and Pella go running after them, and they're like, no, 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 no. If you go in there, it's called the Red Forest. It's the most radioactive place on Earth. And if you go in there, you're going to die. You really feel like this is the apocalypse here. There's no fear of death because everything is death. The ground is, is, will kill you, the water will kill you, the trees will kill you, my shoes are radioactive right now. The beasts are fucking, they show no fear because they're mutants. Everything's been destroyed, everything's been killed, abandoned. It's some heavy, heavy fucking shit here, dude. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It was a bit too much. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. I gotta throw these shoes away. I think they're radioactive. <laughs> 